Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, we will review the concept of combination. So, ang formula na gagamitin natin guys is the number of combinations of n objects taken k at a time is equals to the n factorial divided by k factorial times the quantity of n minus k factorial. Okay, so pag sinabi natin factorial, Yan yung imumultiply natin guys, yung 1 times 2 times 3 up to n. Okay? So, let's have example number 1. Compute the combination or the number of combinations of 5 taken 3. Okay, so identify muna natin yung ating mga variable. Una, ang n natin dito is equals to 5. Then, yung ating k is equals to 3. Tama? So, by applying the formula, the number of combinations of 5 taken 3 is equals to n factorial, which is 5 factorial, divided by k factorial, so that is 3 factorial, times the quantity of n minus k factorial, so that is 5 minus 3 factorial. Okay? Then, simplify natin to guys. So, we have... 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial. Then, 5 minus 3, so we have 2 factorial. Okay? Then, solve natin. So, 5 factorial, this is equals to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Tama? Then, sa denominator natin, we have 3 factorial. So, that is 3 times 2 times 1. Then, times 2 factorial, so that is 2 times 1. Okay? So, in our case, uh, pwede natin i-cancel yung ating 3 times 2 times 1 factorial din sa numerator and denominator. Tama? Then, pag sinimplify natin to, 5 times 4, so that's 20, divided by 2 times 1, so that's 2. Then, 20 divided by 2, so, that is equals to 10. Okay. So, therefore, uh, the number of combinations of 5 taken 3 at a time is equals to 10. Nakuha? So, let's have another example. Number 2. Compute the number of combinations of 8 taken 5. So, in our case, uh, ang n natin is equals to 8. Then, ang k natin is equals to 3. Okay? So, that is the number of combinations of 8 objects taken 3. Or, sorry. Ang k pala natin dito is 5. So, taken 5 at a time. So, this is equals to n factorial. So, which is 8 factorial divided by k factorial so we have 5 factorial times n minus n minus k so that is 8 minus 5 factorial tama so simplify natin we have 8 factorial over 5 factorial times 8 minus 5 factorial so this is 3 factorial okay so, simplify natin. So, 8 factorial. So, that is equals to 8 times uh, 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. So, bakit tayo huminto ngayon kay 5 factorial? So, as you can see, meron din tayong 5 factorial sa denominator. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin nang i-cancel yung ating 5 factorial doon sa ating numerator and denominator. Tama? So, maka-cancel to. Then, yung ating 3 factorial, that is equals to 3 factorial, uh, 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? So, pag sinimplify natin yan, 8 times 7 times 6 divided by 3 times 2 times 1. So, that is equals to 56. Okay? So, therefore, uh, the number of combinations of 8 take, taken 5 at a time is equals to 
56. Nakuha guys. So ngayon, uh, i-co-connect natin guys yung ating combinations doon sa ating Pascal's triangle. Okay? So una, meron tayong n equals 5 and k equals 3 which is equivalent to 10. So kung titignan natin guys, dito sa ating Pascal's triangle na merong n equals 5. Okay? So since ang k natin doon is 3, so ang yung value ng ating combination which is 10 is the same lang guys doon sa ating pang-apat. Okay? n equals 5 then k equals 3. So same siya doon sa ating pang-apat dito sa ating fifth row. Okay? So next we have n equals 8, then ang k natin is equals to 5. So that is n equals 8, then ang k natin is equals to 5. So ang nakuha natin doon is 56. So pag nagbilang tayo dito, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is also 56. Ibig sabihin, yung n equals 8 and k equals 5 natin is parehas. Doon sa pang-anim dito sa ating uh, Pascal's Triangle. Okay, so itong concept na to guys, uh, gagamitin natin doon sa ating next lesson about binomial theorem. Okay, so this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naiintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba natin uh, kinukuha yung number of combinations using our formula. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!